Where did all my plants go? They were missing. Well, my parents finally complained too much. So they got moved. We got some over here. The basil and Texas mallow. Um, and just trying to spot out temporarily, seeing if the plants do well there. And... There's the cactus. All my tomato plants. Okay, so here's a close-up of my basil. It's got a virus. See that blackness? It's on a lot of the leaves, and I cut a lot of them off. So it's got some kind of virus. And uh, here's the Turk's cap. It's got these little berries I can eat, they're good tasting. I didn't pick any of these though. And for both of these and the cactus, I put down a bunch of seagull guano, a bunch of azomite rock dust, and then a layer of mulch. And I watered it all in real good yesterday. So I'm expecting, you know, a uh, uh, good growth here and a healing from the virus. Here's the dragon fruit. That's where it originally started, right here. Where it, uh, when I got it in the mail, this part was sick and it never grew from there and I had to start a new bud over here, hidden by the wood. And then it went on all the way up, 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 up. And that's up there. And then here's the other piece where, uh, let's go around. We're right here. Piece broke off. And, uh, that piece is dead. I killed it. <laughs> and then up here, let's see if I can do this real quick. Going up. Yeah, perfect. New sprout. So this is going to grow out. Um, because... Sorry if that's noisy. This part here and here also were affected by that same problem. So this plant has had some hardships. I probably should have been feeding it more often. And now that I've got that rock dust, I'll feed all my plants very often. But that's the dragon fruit. Here's that pot that I had my stuff from the juicer in. It's a, that's a sweet potato. Remember I planted sweet potatoes in there? Put two of them in there, but that's what came up. And uh, it's been growing good. Sweet potatoes usually do. I think they're one of the easier things to grow until it gets cold. Here's the tomato plants, my pride and joy. Let's zoom out. Okay, let's zoom in right here. And if we can get the camera to focus. And mosquitoes out of ear. No, out of here is mosquitoes. Damn, this camera really doesn't like focusing. Oh, my camera sucks. I'm gonna buy a new camera. There we go. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. These are three tomatoes. Doot, doot, and doot, right there. 
slightly over to the right. That's a tomato, right there. It's not centered, but you know. Tomato, look back here. Tomato. And then we still got more flowers. And we got some flowers over here. That one's got a tomato in it. And then come over to the other plant. Tomato. Tomato. Now this one, you can already see the tomatoes, but because it's in this little clay pot, well first let's look at the tomatoes. We got one, there's my hand for a size reference, and another right there. Okay, now let's step back. Look at them. So those are the ones growing in the buckets. And that's the shrimpy little one growing in the pot. So, um, buckets are good. These buckets, you have that much growing room. Pot, that much growing room. Tomatoes have very deep roots. Plus, the buckets have other advantages. Here's the box of death. Not really, but it's, it's pretty crappy. So, this dude is the pepper plant of uh, Trinidad Scorpion. Second hottest in the world currently. Uh, and look at it, it looks like shit. <laughs> it's because of the soil. Here's the other pepper plant. It's still hanging in there. These are pretty spicy. They're ripe too. Um, here's my pitiful little charred plant. C-H-A-R-D. I'm all dying. Ugh. Yeah, he's not too good. Um, the purple bell pepper, dying, not good. The banana pepper, hanging in there, still looks weak, maybe a little virusy. Stivia, doing great. Well, pretty great. It's got a little, little bit of burnt up leaves down here, but otherwise, I'm just got all this growth, and I hardly ever eat the thing. Um, strawberries. All but this one leaf here is doing good. I mean, the whole plant is doing good. <laughs> it's actually, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So probably with this, let's do a small test right now. Zoom in. Uh-oh, low battery. <laughs> okay, so. Well, that actually seems pretty good. I don't know. Usually this gets a little too moist inside this box. And so the roots drown and suffocate. Because somehow it gets compacted. I don't know how, but it does. Okay, and the last thing today, kind of an upset. These bricks, you know, I was working my butt off putting them in there. Well, I tried stacking some there, and, well, that looks kind of fine right now. But, uh, very, 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 very weak falls right over. Uh, I have no idea how people got that to work, but I'm going to go ahead and try the old-fashioned way by just having them on their sides. Uh, if it doesn't work, then I guess I'll use some mortar, although I really don't want to. But I'm, you know, I'm just I've already got all these bricks. Got to do something with them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna switch to this style. No more diagonal bricks. It wasn't working out. 
Incubus. Incubus. Say something to the camera. Incubus. Hey. Are you going to lay down and ignore me? Okay. Alrighty, uh, yeah, that's the plants. Oh, you can see the aloe vera. Ta-da, aloe vera. They're doing fine. Not growing fast or anything. They're just hanging, hanging out there. Yeah. Oh, and the fungus. I just pulled a bunch of big fungus. More big fungus from that tree. Let's see. Let's see how big it is compared to my hand. There's a bunch of them, too. That one's even bigger. All right, bye. Thanks for watching. One last thing. I uh, pollinated the tomato flowers with this. I just kind of jammed these bristles up inside of it. And that helps it pollinate. So that might be why I've got like 10 or more tomatoes going now. That or it's the cool weather or it's the heat tolerant type of tomato plant. Or it's uh, the better soil. I don't know. I did a lot of stuff different this time. Seems to be working out. Uh, and uh, I can't isolate one thing, but it's probably a combination. I do think this works though. I like this. So, every day or every other day, come out, hit the flowers with this, get more tomatoes. Oh, and this dude stays too wet. I don't know what the deal is. You gotta get some kind of water loving plant. Still got those two alive in it there and there. Everything else died. Um, if you'd like to see any certain kind of video or you have an idea for a video you'd like me to do, tell me because uh, I'm, I'm open to that as long as it's nothing too ridiculous. Uh, yeah, bye. I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> okay, so this is a... Uh, I forget what they call it, sheetrock something. It's metal. Metal mesh screen. It's what I made my uh, sieve sifter out of. And there's mulch. So what I did is I put a layer of mulch, layer of rock dust, layer of mulch, water it, layer of rock dust, layer of mulch, water it. And I kept repeating it until it was full. And uh, I saw some video on YouTube of where these people were growing huge plants. And they said all they grow in is mulch with rock dust. And I think their mulch may have had uh, green leaves mixed in because they were mulching like living plants. And this doesn't. But I still think it'll work out pretty well. So I'll plant something in this. I'm going to try and let it set for as long as I can tolerate. And forget about it for a few months would be nice. And then... Uh, plant something into it. It should have superior drainage, plenty of nutrients because of the rock dust, and excellent uh, moisture retention, and airflow, because there's no sides. The bottom's open too. So yeah, it's got a lot of good things going for it. I have high expectations, like I do for everything that fails. And uh, I'm going to go show you one more thing. So we trimmed the hedges recently, and I got a bunch of green stuff to use, and uh, I've been saving newspapers, saving them from the recycling bin so that I can use them for gardening, and I put this together. So, kind of similar to the other thing, except this one is sort of a composting uh, attempt. So, I don't know if you can see, but I layered. Newspaper, greens, uh, greens, newspaper, greens, newspaper, greens, newspaper. Goes all the way down. Um, I didn't put any active compost in it. I kind of wanted to see how it would do without it. And I'm just going to water it every once in a while and see if it breaks down. Um, the soil beneath it is. I was waiting for the car to pass soil beneath it is uh, you know our typical clay soil really hard no worms so I don't think worms will find this I don't think many bugs will and uh, honestly unless there's bacteria on the leaves from the bushes then I don't know how it's gonna get started composting or whatever 
But that's okay. I'm just, I hid it over here behind the grill so my parents can see it and water it down. Um, I see ants going around it. Oops. Uh, but yeah, they're going around it, not in it. And it had a bunch of spiders from the branches. Anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll update that. I'm just gonna let it go and see what happens. It'll be fun. And sooner or later I'll probably get tired of it and like add some compost. Or like pull it out and then mix some compost in all the way through. Because I think ideally you do like leaves, compost, newspaper, leaves, compost, newspaper, leaves, compost, newspaper, leaves, compost, newspaper. Yeah, that would be the best mix. I didn't feel like messing with the compost today. I got too much on my plate. All right, I'm gonna go work with those bricks. Start my laundry. Go work early in the morning tomorrow. Goodbye. That's it for this week.